Hey guys, this is International Master John Bartholomew here with Chess.com. And I had a little bit of time tonight and I've been uh, playing around a little bit on Chess.com lately with the blindfold chess feature. So I thought to myself, why not make a short little tutorial video just filling people in about this feature that Chess.com now has. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, basically, uh, about a month ago, they came out with this blindfold chess feature. And what it is, is you can just essentially play blindfold chess in your normal games on the live chess server in chess.com. And it's been pretty neat so far. I know there's been some activity on the site uh, as far as blindfold simuls. Timur Gureyev, uh, Grandmaster Timur Gureyev, is one of the guys who's been bringing a lot of excitement to this area of chess. He uh, has stated that he has a goal of doing a 64 board blindfold simul at some point later this year. And it's been pretty cool to watch because he's been using chess.com as a training ground and playing a lot of blindfold chess on there. Uh, likewise, um, one of the head honchos at chess.com, my buddy Danny Wrench, he's also been trying his hand at um, some blindfold simuls on there uh, on chess.com TV. So you can tune in and watch him from time to time, giving it his best on there. Um, and personally, I've been playing a little bit, bit of blindfold too, mainly just casual games, some blitz, uh, which is kind of crazy actually now that I think about it, blindfold blitz. <laughs> I, I intentionally restricted the players I was playing to a lower rating level uh, just so I'd have a chance. But okay, enough rambling. Um, the purpose of this video is just to show you how to play a blindfold game on chess.com. It's something that anyone can do, and I really encourage everyone to try it. So let me just starting out here go on to the normal live chess server just to show you what the typical live chess server looks like when you have sight of the pieces. So logging in here and you can see there's already a uh, game in progress. Um, the top game just automatically pops up when you log into live chess. So these are some players playing and as you can see I have full sight of the board. Uh, the game looks like it's paused at the oh there we go. The clocks are moving for both players, but no mystery. I have full side of the board. If I wanted to start a game, I could, you know, click on any of these dots here and start a game and I'd have full side of the board myself. Um, and everything's good and normal, just your regular online chess game. So now if we go out of live chess again and let me go over to my home, go into account settings. This is how you access the blindfold chess feature. So in account settings, you go down to live chess settings, update your live chess settings. And here where you see pieces style, right now it's on classic. There's all these piece styles. You just want to go all the way down to the bottom and choose blindfold. That's it. That's all you do. And of course, you have all these other settings you can mess around and um, put as you want. So once we've got blindfold selected, we go down here, do save settings. And now we are in blindfold chess mode. So anytime you log into the live chess server now, play live chess. Look at that, just a blank board that pops up. This was in fact the same game that was going on earlier and now it's a new one started. Um, you can see both players are moving as indicated by the highlighted squares. But me as an observer, I have no side of the board and no side of the pieces. So this is how the blindfold chess option is enabled here on chess.com. And just to take this a little bit further, let me show you what an actual game looks like. So I'm going to put on, let me actually do a custom seek here so I don't totally embarrass myself on camera. So I'm just going to search for a 10 minute game. Um, let me make this an unrated game. <laughs> I'll just do no rating restrictions. And I'm going to start the game. And hopefully, someone will click on my seek way up here. Uh-huh, as you can see, someone did. So I'm playing this guy, Sorel, rating 1061. And we're in blindfold chess mode now. Looks like this guy's connection is a little bit poor. Okay, now it's fine. And as you can see, I'm black. The reason why we know I'm black is he just made a move here. So it highlights his knight that was on G1, if we had normal side of the board, going to F3. And up here on the right-hand side, too, you also see the moves that are listed. So just like any other online chess game that you play, the moves are selected or listed there, rather. And I just played pawn to d5. And as you can see, it made the move right there for me. My pawn was on d7 right here. 
and I just moved it there. And this is basically how the game will proceed for me. <laughs> I will have no side of the board and pieces for the rest of the game. And he moved pawn to g3, we can see that right there. Now, one thing about the blindfold chess feature as it stands right now, um, your opponents that you're playing, they uh, presumably are playing with full side of the board and pieces themselves. You might be playing a blindfold chess game, but you don't know their settings. Like They could just be playing as normal. So he played pawn to d4 here. I'm going to go knight f6. Um, I don't know if chess.com is going to change this in the future. That's completely up to them, obviously. Um, to make it a true blindfold chess game, of course, you'd want to have like both players be blindfold. Um, that would be the, the most ideal thing. So he took my knight on b8. You can see the capture right there. And I'm going to take back with the rook. But as it stands right now, the only way you could have a blindfold versus blindfold game, you and your opponent both playing blindfold, you would have to agree on it beforehand somehow. So, so most of the time, if you're playing blindfold chess now, <laughs> you should just be doing it to challenge yourself, because uh, chances are your opponent is playing with side of the board. So, yeah, so it's a pretty neat feature. Uh, he just played queen to d2, um, and I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time, <laughs> which is adding to the difficulty. Uh, I think I'm going to go here and pin him. So he has a knight here, and his queen is behind. I'm going to pin him right here. And he just castled queenside. I'm going to go ahead, bring my queen out here, just to put more pressure on his knight and his pawn on a2. Um, so, yeah, this is basically what a blindfold game looks like. And I don't want to make this video super long uh, and bore you guys by sitting around looking at this blank board. But, uh, yeah, I hope this encourages you to try it out on your own. Um, like I said, it's just in the account settings. And you can always go back and turn it off. There's... This is not a permanent thing by any means, so you can always decide if you want to change your mind. So, yeah, thanks for watching this. If you have any questions about blindfold chess, feel free to ask me, or you can ask on chess.com. And I'm going to make this a little crazy and sacrifice on A3 here. Why not? It's an unrated blindfold game. And, all right, well, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is International Master John Bartholomew for chess.com. And hope to see you on the live chat server.